all right so let's, let's look at how to solve this question on waves in physics okay um this question is on the wave equation in physics now the question says a plain progressive wave is represented by y equal to 0 0.3 sine 2 pi into 10x over 3 plus 50t all in meters calculate number one the amplitude two frequency three wavelength four wave velocity so how do we solve this question here all right um for this question here solution um in our previous class we've discussed the concept of waves and the wave equation and how to solve problems involving the wave equation and we said for your wave equation the first thing you do is to write out the original wave equation and the original wave equation is given by y being equal to a sine sine in brackets 2 pi x all over lambda minus 2 pi f c all right so basically this is the um, wave equation okay now if you compare this to what i'm given here in the question i'm given y i'm given that y it's equal to 0 0.3 sine sine into um in brackets here i have okay 2 pi before then so sine we have um 2 pi and then into brackets what's here is 10x 10x all over 3 10x all over 3 give us here as plus um, this plus plus um, 50t so this is 50t so I have this as 50t and it was given to us in meters all right so how do we solve this question uh, by the way we've talked about wave we've treated waves and everything about wave including the types of waves, um, the classification of waves, um, the wave equation, and everything in our previous class. I'll leave a link to our previous class on waves in the video description, okay? So check the video description, you see a link to um, our previous class on waves, okay? Now let's solve this. The first thing they will ask to find is the amplitude. But before then, if I compare these two equations, observe that in my original equation there, we had sine and then bracket, all right? It was sine and bracket. Meanwhile, in the given equation, we have sine. There's a 2 pi before the brackets. All right, there's a 2 pi before the brackets. So all we have to do is to use this 2 pi here to multiply everything in the brackets. That's the first thing we do. So that the both equation will take the same form. And if you do that, we'll have that y is equal to, this becomes 0 0.3 sine. First things first, use 2 pi to multiply 10x. Um, all over root 3 all over 3 so this becomes 2 pi multiplying 10 x over 3 so 2 times 10 we have 20 so in brackets i will have 20 um, pi x of course right 2 times 10 is 20 pi times x is pi x that's this all over so this all over 3 so i'll divide this by 3 so i have this all right, so that's the first stacks there. I've used 2 pi to multiply the first um, term. Let's now use the same 2 pi to multiply the second term there. It now becomes 2 pi multiplied by 50t. So I have 2 pi times 50t. From here, 2 times 50 is 100. Pi times t is pi t. So what I have there is 100 pi t as my answer. So it becomes plus 100 pi so basically i have this all right now with this we can now bring in the major equation again if you observe that from my equation of uh, wave observe that at this point we have a negative so you can see why at this point we have a positive okay in our previous class i explained this concept where i say don't you don't have to worry about the sign all right don't worry about the sign the sign only shows the direction of the wave okay so the sign here, whether negative or positive, only shows the direction of the wave. But in your calculation, you don't have to bother about the sign. All right. All right. So with this, um, we can now proceed to solve. Let me just rewrite this. So this is y 
as being equal to a sine um, 2 pi x all over lambda minus 2 pi f t. So we have this. All right, let's proceed to solve this now. In the first question, they will have to find the amplitude. All right, let's get the amplitude. Um, number one, we have to find amplitude. All right, so we have amplitude. Um, a, amplitude is simply the maximum vertical displacement of a wave particle during a wave motion. And to get amplitude is simply, amplitude is simply the term attached to sine. That's all. All right, if you look at this, the term or the number attached to sine gives you amplitude. And if I look at this, observe that the number here is 0 0.3. 0 0.3 is the number attached to um, sine. So in, in this case, amplitude is equal to 0 0.3. Now, earlier, I defined amplitude as the maximum vertical displacement. And hence, if it's a displacement, it should be in, meet, in either meters or any of the length units. And if I look at the question here, from the original question there, I was given meters here. In essence, there should be a meter here. And hence, my answer is not just 0 0.3, but 0 0.3 meters. So what you're doing is always watch out for the units here, right? If it's um, the unit at this point here, here, whether it's uh, meters or centimeters or millimeters, as the case may be, all right? Okay, so that's the first tax there. The second thing that we ask to find about 2, i, i, what's next we ask to find here? After amplitude, we ask to find the frequency. So i, i is frequency. So i, i, we ask to find free quen c. Frequency is small f. Again, we'll go back to comparing the equations. If I compare equation, you observe that the frequency is attached to t. That's this one here. It's attached to 2 pi ft. Right. So in my equation, I look for the term that has a t, which is simply this one here. So this is the term that has a t. And then I'll now equate them. So I'm equating 2 pi ft to 100 pi t, simply because both of them have the t. All right. So it becomes um, 2 pi ft. So 2 pi ft it's equal to 100 t right um 100 uh, pi t okay 100 pi t so 100 um let's add the pi there 100 pi t right, let's get this solved so how do you solve this first things first when you have the same term on both sides of an equation at the same position they can cancel out in essence pi can cancel pi T can cancel T, you're left with 2 times frequency is equal to 100. To get the value of frequency, I'll divide this by 2, divide this by 2, this cancels this, so you have the frequency, so F frequency is equal to 100 all over 2, that gives you 50. Don't forget, frequency is measured in hertz or per second, that's HZ or per second, right? Alright, so we have the frequency as 50 hertz, that's your answer. The next thing that we ask to find is the wavelength. So let me just come here. I, 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 wavelength. I, I, I. Let's look at how to find wavelength. Wavelength is usually lambda. Okay. Uh, let's go and compare my equation again. What do you have lambda? Observe that lambda is the denominator here. All right. The denominator here. When you compare this to the x term, the term that contains x. That's this x here. In this case, this is the term that contains x. And hence, if you have to equate this, what we can say is that we have um, 2 pi x lambda is equal to 20 pi x over 3. All right? So 2 pi x lambda, um, what we have here, 2 pi x all over lambda is equal to 20 pi x all over 3. Uh, let me just confirm this. 2 pi x over lambda is equal to 20 pi x over 3. All right. Again, the same term on the same part of the of an equation and will cancel out. So x cancels x, it's off. Pi cancels pi, it's off. What you're left with here is that you have 2 over lambda, it's equal to 20 over x let's get the value of lambda 
um, it's as easy as cross multiply this times this, this times this. So it becomes 20 times lambda, that's 20 lambda. It's equal to 2 times 3, that's um, of course 2 times 3, and that's 6. So I'll just go ahead and write 6 at once. That's equal to 6. From here, divide this by 20. Divide this by 20 here. Let's get the value of lambda. From here, it's clear that lambda is equal to um, 6 over 20. 6 over 20. Um, what we have there is 0 0.3. So lambda is equal to, um, the value is 0 0.3. And we said it's a wave length. Length, length is measured in meters. So you have 0 0.3 meters as your answer. Now, from here, you observe something very important. If you look at the equation I had, I had 2 pi x over lambda as being equal to 20 pi x all over 3. You don't start saying, okay, since lambda is your denominator here, your answer will be this denominator. That would be wrong. So observe that the answer there was not 3, but 0 0.3. In essence, you have to solve it to be sure. Right? Don't, just, don't just equate it and say, okay, lambda is equal to 3 because they are both denominator. That's not always true. In some cases, it works. In some cases like this one, it will not work. So you have to be very careful with that. All right. Um, what again now? Um, number four. So IV4. So IV4. For IV, what are we asked to find? For four, we are asked to find wave velocity. Okay. Let's find wave. Wave. Ver. Low. C T and that's V. Um, don't forget that wave velocity in terms of um, waves, wave velocity is given by equal to F times lambda, right? That's your formula, F times lambda, and that's equal to product of frequency and wavelength. What's the frequency? Frequency is 50, so that becomes frequency 50 times lambda, which is wavelength. We've gotten as 0 0.3, so 50 times. 0 0.3 let's see how this works if i have 50 all right 50 times 0 0.3 that gives us about 15 so this becomes 15 i'm calculating for velocity so that becomes in meters per second so my answer here is 15 meters per second all right so basically this is how you solve this particular question all right so i've provided the answer to all of this Okay, guys, so I've prepared over 100 jam slash YEC courses for science students on my website, okay? For these courses, I've explained major topics in physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science subjects. And for each of these topics, I've solved past questions for the last 10 years. To access this course, simply visit my website, www.jonahimano.com forward slash courses, and then you see the jam slash YEC classes, okay? It gives you a lifetime access to um, over 100 classes on physics, chemistry, mathematics, and other science subjects. Okay. All right, then. Don't forget, you also, you also have to register an account to the website before you can proceed to order for the course. Or you can simply join my channel membership, right? So you can join my channel membership to get access to exclusive videos, right, for jam slash YEC students. Okay. All right, guys, um, if you enjoyed this video, as usual, please hit the like button. All right, so like this video, hit the like button. Leave a comment. If you have any question on this, leave the question in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please let us know you enjoyed the video in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe too. If it's your first time of your year to subscribe, please do well to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever we upload a new content. And finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.